Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. Today, a special video, midweek, I'm on holiday. I heard uh, this conference between Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, Steve and Kathy Wood, three of the most important people, I would say, on the planet, and I couldn't resist but to make a video on it. However, I thought that maybe it's a good idea for me to make a summary of it so that you guys uh, get the most important aspects of it. Anything I say is what they said, as well as my own personal opinions please do not take it as financial advice bitcoin has the most throughput and least error kathy said bitcoin is candidate for improving the financial markets we all know how corrupt the system is how corrupt the banks are what happened in 2008 uh, how the banks uh, made money by giving toxic loans and then made money on betting that those loans will not be paid back and how the banks made money on the Libra uh, scandal for example importantly uh, i think uh, elon he has been a hero and he always will be a hero he says he's a supporter of bitcoin he owns bitcoin personally he has the largest bag of any crypto in his wallet is actually bitcoin and then he also holds some ethereum and a little bit of dodge little bit of dodge Jack said that current financial system is crazy predatory system, crazy that credit cards still exist to this day, monetary systems are costly, they lack trust, and Bitcoin on the opposite end of that spectrum is trustworthy, the code can verify, it is not controlled by a bank or a state or a person. It's a beautiful thing. Kathy basically says that uh, Bitcoin is the first rules-based system on the planet that is global and that humans create it and we can't control. It's a decentralized ledger. I think the star of the show was actually Kathy, to be really honest with you. The stuff she said about education aspect, the stuff she said about transparency. I have been following ARK Invest for ages. All I do every day is see what they buy and they sell. It is available on the ARK website. Elon probably takes the limelight as always, but I think star of the show was Kathy Wood. So she said, what does the money need? It has to be store of value. Well, I should say, what does a financial asset need? It needs to be store of value. It needs to be means of exchange. It also has to be unit of account. And obviously Elon uh, did challenge a little bit uh, Kathy on this, that for unit of account, of course he didn't talk about Satoshis, but he talked about Bitcoin. It might be difficult in context of Bitcoin, but I'll come back to that point later in this video. Kathy also said that it's hedge against inflation. Interestingly, she mentioned deflation. What she means by that is the technology is moving so fast, companies are investing so heavily in, let's say, creating a product whose technology will be obsolete. And most importantly, like states, corporations, and individuals can all participate in the verification process equally. Uh, uh, as I said, Kathy mentioned about unit of value. Elon brought in the Lightning Network. Let's say if uh, El Salvador makes Bitcoin legal tender in September, well, it is by law, they have already made it. The issue is, how do you buy one pound or one dollar worth of ice cream? I have said this in previous videos. I think the layer two solutions solve many of those problems and layer two solutions are coming to the Bitcoin network. Elon said, I might pump it, but I will not dump it. I think it was very interesting. I think uh, Elon Musk is like XRP. Elon Musk is one of the most misunderstood supporter of Bitcoin. The same way as XRP is one of the most misunderstood cryptocurrency on the planet bankers coin centralized blah 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 i don't think people do their uh, research before they say these things about xrp in the same exact way they have been blaming elon musk for the recent bitcoin correction he hinted about uh, internet speeds and he said starlink improve the mining efficiency of bitcoin and he wants bitcoin to succeed he also did hint about bitcoin being clunky and he is uh, uh, promoting uh, doge uh, of course which is very interesting it was made in 2008 but you can't really compare it with doge come on man uh, bitcoin developers uh, know the monetary policy they know the monetary history and it is one of the most beautiful thing created by the humans anyways he did ran creating bitcoin mining nodes by the team obviously he didn't say any further i think it's very interesting i think with the increasing internet connectivity crypto adoption is on the horizon he's a very clever marketeer he's gonna bring doge into it and i liked his analogy it said occam's razor which is basically he said that the simplest answer is the most likely in case of cryptocurrencies the most ironic outcome i think all of you know that doge was created as a meme token it was created as a joke he said it might end up being the leading cryptocurrency i might buy some doge 
I will never buy Doge. He said he's not selling Bitcoin uh, and he said neither is Tesla or SpaceX. Now that's interesting guys, isn't it? He said SpaceX is not selling Tesla. I am not aware SpaceX has bought Bitcoin. Ooh, that's very interesting. I need to see the balance sheets. I don't think they have declared it. Just imagine if the likes of Apple, Google, Facebook, they announce that they have PTC on their treasury. <laughs> guys, just think about that. I, I am the biggest bull. For Bitcoin. Uh, I've been here in, in, in this market for a very long time. Bitcoin was below $10,000 a year ago. It's still 3x. So I just have to laugh at all the FUD that is going on. And interestingly, he said Tesla will resume Bitcoin payments most likely. I think it's inevitable. The carbon credits and the board pushed him to announce that. Guys, we need to give this guy some credit, okay? Uh, Neuralink, the boring company, um, Tesla, PayPal. This guy is a genius, guys. Come on. It's okay if he invests in Doge. <laughs> it's okay. But the biggest bag he has is of Bitcoin. And I think today is the first time he disclosed that. Uh, obviously, Jack, uh, interesting. Jack is a clever guy. He discussed a little bit about Square, a little bit about Twitter, touch on the wastage of energy. Basically saying that all this FUD is kind of horseshit. There is more energy that is being wasted. Uh, in terawatt hours, there is more energy that is wasted okay and uh, bitcoin is is a tiny proportion it's less than and kathy hinted that as well without blasting elon they said gold mining and the traditional banking sector consumes more energy than bitcoin mining and then kathy mentioned something about uh, the environmental social and governance aspect of corporation which i think is is very very interesting she mentioned uh, this in context of uh, remittances so the countries that are really, really heavily reliant on remittances, for example, Nepal, uh, El Salvador, many Latin American countries, Philippines, uh, even India and Pakistan, eight to 10% uh, of the money sent is taken away by the likes of Western Union or the banks. Unacceptable, socially, corporately unacceptable. She mentioned that uh, about 20 to 30% of GDP of these countries are reliant on money sent back. And there is no reliable method to do this instantaneously. Bitcoin solves that. Cryptocurrency solves that. Uh, one of the interesting bits that has made me so bullish on Bitcoin is that Kathy Wood has personally met the key developers of Bitcoin. And she said she has never met anyone on the planet who knows more about economic history, about monetary history, um, and they have a sense of purpose for noble good. Honestly, I think uh, that is a really powerful statement made by Kathy there. ARK, she says, has Bitcoin's DNA. It is very interesting, like honestly. She says, ARK practices openness, education, and purpose for good. And that's what she relates Bitcoin with. Jack did touch on the blue sky decentralized. Again, apologies for the spelling error here. I made this uh, video immediately after I listened to it because, <laughs> guys, uh, I don't do any uh, clickbait. I don't promote my videos. I only thing I wish is that you guys like subscribe and hit that bell notification i made 42 pence in three months of my uh, youtube career uh, from affiliate marketing and uh, by the way amazon have <laughs> cancelled my affiliate marketing because i didn't bring much business i don't care two flying fucks about that so <laughs> just yeah whatever so please like subscribe and hit that bell notification but when jack was talking about uh, blue sky decentralized protocol elon very cleverly said would twitter accept crypto and to which jack replied again very cleverly any form of payment will be acceptable in future if this is not bullish to you guys i have no idea what else will be bullish to you guys keep watching those uh, chart analysis keep watching those candles and wicks keep watching those chicken shit analysis keep watching uh, youtubers that make video every single day honestly guys um think long term is what I would say. And again, uh, another interesting thing Jack said that governments are like corporations. If you don't like corporations, you should not like governments. Make up your mind. The final uh, bit that uh, all three of them talked about is what will be the Bitcoin's future. Kathy said it's an intangible asset. It will be having an explosive growth. There will be no friction. You can do business anywhere in the world. Bitcoin is hedge against inflation. 
and deflation and there is a convergence of blockchain technology and military policy she also mentioned a combination of artificial intelligence blockchain crypto technology the main host said by bitcoin not the bonds he cited some financial person jack finished off by saying that bitcoin is a beautifully designed network and it will promote world peace now think about all the wars that happened why did they happen bitcoin solves that uh, that's very interesting i think the final word belonged to elon and he said that bitcoin will improve the efficiency of money it will have less error less fraud most important and more power to the individual remember the current clickbait headlines in most of the news outlets which is on the last respiratory cycle because people are getting educated people not only get the information of bbc cnn fox news but they also uh, scan uh, social media platforms and they are forming a balanced opinion honestly the clickbait headlines blame that crypto is used for money laundering purposes wow so pound and dollars there is no money laundering involved <laughs> think about that guy think about that if you like these videos hit that uh, like subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video